today we are implementing uh, the triac and DAC devices in one of the uh, common circuits that is called the uh, dimmer circuit as you can see here we have the uh, power supply that is uh, providing 120 volt RMS if you click on the device we will see that is uh, the amplitude or the peak value is 170 volt the frequency is set to 60 Hertz we have the load here is as a one of the lights that's a 60 watt lamp and that is uh, that has a voltage uh, that's working in a number of voltage of 120 the internal resistance of the load is 240 now let's go and talk about this circuit here we have uh, also demonstrated this circuit before and we have uh, we have uh, gone through the theoretical uh, analysis of this circuit that's called the relaxation oscillator as an analog circuit it is used to trigger the triax as we can see here we have uh, uh, resistors that are connected in series one of these resistors I kept here is a, is a constant resistor which is one kilo ohm and the other one is a variable resistor that is 270 kilo ohm uh, we will talk about uh, the details how we are we calculate all these values based on certain issues We will tackle this in another course And I will show you how to do a quick calculation for this in order to calculate the resistances here And also the capacitor as we can see here. I have used one of the capacitor that has a value of 0.1 microfarad and uh, The diac here you go to the library you select from here if you click to the this button and you will uh, find many for example I will say, show you here and you will find the generic one that is here and you can easily click on it and you can show you can put it anywhere you want and you can set the values of the breakover voltage you must know what is the breakover voltage for your circuits you can change this uh, as you wish and also the uh, holding current uh, according to the specific or the data sheet that you are using the circuit on so this let's take uh, this one and go back and uh, also for the triac I have used also I've selected one of the triacs that is available in the library that's called L201 E3 and if we click on that we will see some of the data that is hidden here because it's taken from there but normally this one is a sensitive track that is used for such kind of application and uh, uh, you can choose any uh, kind of uh, track that is available in the library also uh, I have put some uh, some uh, emitters here to measure the value of current just to check well, what what find what kind of uh, uh, amperes we are current we are talking about that is input to the uh, track and now this uh, actually this resistor I am not using uh, right now in this uh, uh, simulation if you can see here I have exclude from simulation but later on we will use this in a different kind of uh, application but for now I, I will keep it but it's not going to be part of the simulation at the moment so uh, what we are expecting now when uh, we run the simulation uh, we will see when I uh, increase the value of the resistance what we will see that the dim, that this lamp will uh, light intensity will go down and vice versa we if we increase the if we did reduce sorry if we reduce the uh, resistance uh, we will see that the light intensity is going up and uh, on top of that uh, we will uh, follow what's going what's going on inside uh, of the signals uh, because I have uh, as you can see this is an oscilloscope uh, once I run the simulation the menu will pop up and we will see the four channels uh, which I have uh, as you can see here channel A I put it on the uh, input voltage and, and I have designated the uh, channel B for uh, this node to see uh, how much voltage has been taken out from the signal according to the firing angle because this is what was 
this resistance do uh, eventually that is controlling the firing angle or the triggering angle of the track and uh, which eventually will reduce or increase the amount of voltage that is going to the load and because this is a lamp so we can see the effect of that that the light is going intensity is going up or low and the channel c is it goes to the uh, across the capacitor so we can see the signal how does it go the charging signal and we can also see the uh, output from the diac which is eventually gonna, gonna be uh, must be as a uh, pulse that pulse which goes to the uh, track now this circuit here um, uh, sorry I uh, this uh, must be go must go over here this circuit here is uh, the snapper circuit these are meant to protect the uh, triac uh, normally in uh, real life uh, in real application we need this kind of circuit in order to protect the uh, switching or the switch itself that the triac we are using at this moment uh, from uh, the dv over dt which is the uh, um, average voltage change with respect to time so sometimes it goes very high and it might damage the uh, the uh, that switch so we have another pass uh, which is a, a bypass it works like as a bypass when we have a high voltages it goes in this way so but in the simulation we might not see the effect of using so if you if you delete them this will not be much change of the signal but we will keep it as uh, we are doing our uh, analysis here in a, right, in a real life uh, implementation so right it's uh, let's go now and i think we are ready so we can start the simulation and uh, by pressing this button and we will see what's going on okay as i said we have four channels now i will start uh, switching this channel off this is the yellow one which is related to the uh, input signal from the power supply that goes to the load and uh, we have a full wave sensoidal uh, signal and we did see channel B. Yes, that's it. And let's start from the minimum resistance zero percentage. As you can see here, the blue color of the of the uh, signal it indicates the, the amount of voltage that is gonna be cut out from the original one. So the remaining that will be this part and this part in the half in the positive cycle and or half cycle and the negative one. Now what what will happen that you let's see when, while we are increasing the uh, resistance gradually we will see the light intensity will be dimming down gradually as well you will see you will notice that this blue color signal will move forward and which means that another portion of the signal will be cut out so the amount of voltage that is applied across the load will be minimized which again will affect the amount of intensity of the light let's see what's going on what will happen yes it's going on the light is dimming and another portion of the signal is cut out okay let's go more what we'll see here, yes, for example, the here, uh, we are reaching approximately pi over 2, which is half of the signal is going out, and the signal uh, that is affecting the lighting very much on the load. And let's see what we keep when we keep in, when we continue increasing the resistance yes right it's good now let's see now the light has gone off because we have completely increased the amount of resistance until it's full load and as you can see here the signal is or the voltage uh, no more voltage on the signal and a minimum voltage is applied to the to the uh, sorry to the lamp and that is dimming again now let's increase let's reduce the, uh, the resistance and again we will see the light will come up the light intensity is increasing gradually 
and also the signal the blue one moves backward because we are reduced that means that we are reducing the firing angle which means that we are using most of the signal on the light and that is why it's producing more light intensity right now